Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. I assume you joined in after work, so that's why I come and greet you like that. Today's mission is plain simple. Let's find out how far we can go with a cheap default setup. So, let's just jump into it. Today is a bit bumpy. The sky shadow is shaking up and down. That's because we fly upwind. And in case you wonder why we do so, let me explain. If you do a range test, it's almost the best way to do it. Just fly upwind. Will cost much energy, but you're always safe on the way home. The current ground speed is about 25 to 40 km per hour, consuming somewhat about 5 to 8 amps. The sky shadow we are flying today uses pretty common components, nothing fancy to expect. Simple 2.4 transmission with free sky L9R and a common 5.8 GHz video transmission. And as always, you'll find all components listed down in the description of this video. Just look below. I will speed up the video so you don't get bored along the way out. Well, I need to mention I didn't use any diversity, so all the reception from the video link is just done with one antenna. As you can see, I'm not one of those guys flying all too high on this. I'm in a reasonable height and I keep it that way. So um, anything that really blocks me later on will be trees standing in the direct way. And these trees will simply block the transmission from being received. I will call them clutter. If I remember right, that is the right term. Clutter. By gaining more height, you can increase the range by avoiding the clutter to capture the signals. But I found there was no reason to climb any further. At this point, we have almost reached the point where we have to turn. I like to do so when the snow in the video increases, so you can't determine which way or what you are doing at that point. So, here we go. We'll return in a few seconds. Let's have a look at the travel distance. How far out did we come? It's measured to be 5.67 kilometers. I think Einav reported something about 5.5 kilometers in range. I really like the result for the fact that we have pretty cheap components. I think this is a proof too that even cheap components can give you a decent range. Let's get back home and push the pedal to the metal. We have tailwinds. This boosts up to about 100 kilometers an hour. And yet, we only consume 5 amps. Awesome, isn't it? When you do such range tests, be sure not to come in the situation where you could harm anybody. Fly at places, spots, where you could eventually crash without causing some damage, aside from plane force. And while we talk safety, be sure don't to decapitate yourself. That's it for today. We would like to thank you for watching and hope this video will help you along your path. Now what do we have in store here for you? Just click one of these videos and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate your help. Are you ready? I will tell you some more about the sky shadow and what I did to it. Be seeing ya!